everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I've got a Halloween tutorial that is a little less gory than the last one. As you can see, these are Jack Skellington nails based off a character from The Nightmare Before Christmas and they were a request from Destiny. I try to keep them pretty simple so anyone can give them a shot. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Right, so first I'm applying a base coat and then we'll do the middle finger, Jack's face. Paint two coats of white polish, I used one from Essence and then waited for that to dry. Once that's done, get your black polish, today I'm using Sinful Colours Black on Black and then paint on Jack's eyes. I used a picture I found online for reference and I will link to that down below if you think it might help you too, but basically they're kind of sideways teardrops and they don't need to be perfectly symmetrical. I just traced the outlines first. The nose was really easy, just a couple of tiny lines on an angle and then there's the mouth. This is the trickiest bit as you want to keep it really thin so make sure your brush is just being cleaned and only has a little bit of polish on it. Add some stitches, again make these as thin as possible and then go back and fill in the eyes. While you're doing that you can make sure the curves look right and fix up any mistakes you make with the same white polish from the background. Kind of acts like an eraser. Cool, so then we're moving on to the ring nail. Just paint the nail white again and then we're going to use black to paint some fine black lines. This is an easy way of symbolising how thin and tall Jack is. Use a striking brush and some black polish to do this and again if you make any mistakes use the white from the background to erase them. Also try to start with thinner lines because if they mess up you can just thicken them up to make them even rather than starting all over again. Clean up around your cuticles with some nail polish remover and a brush and then I'll just show you all the colours I used for the other nails. For the thumb I just used the same plain black that I've been using in the rest of the design but for the pinky and the index finger I used a gorgeous glitter polish from Nicole by OPI from the Gumdrops collection. It's called Anise Treat, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And while you see it all shiny here, it dries matte. Um, I prefer shiny so apply a layer of top coat to make sure it sparkles. It looks way cooler in real life and really made the manicure for me. The top coat I used was a Miracle Gel one and I carefully applied this onto all of my nails. And yeah, that's how these turned out. I hope you guys like them and let me know your Halloween requests in the comments. Please remember to subscribe and thumbs up and thanks for watching. Get just a little bit of the red and maybe a dash of the black out onto your brush and use it to create swelling and bruising around the cut. This makes a huge difference and makes it look really sore and realistic.